The, the best defense is an offense. You want the attack and then decimate their objection. Christianize Jeep Kadofo Christianize Jeep Kadofo Christianize Jeep Kadofo Deuteronomy 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Yep, exactly. Now, everyone with me? Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You with me there? Okay. The first question you ask all of them is, one what exactly? Okay, one what when it says the Lord our God is one, one what? If I say America is one nation, what does that mean? It's only one person? If I say that's one family, what does that mean? There's only one person, right? If I say he's got one car, but wait, what does one car mean? A car can have two doors or four doors. It can have, it's got to have four, four wheels. It's got to have an engine and a transmission and it's got to have a trunk you see one what so you ask them number one when you say god is one one what exactly they're assuming here's the assumption god is one person and say prove it prove it show me where it says god is one person yes god is one there's no denying it but what is he exactly when we say he's one one person one being one essence what exactly do you mean? Because saying one doesn't mean anything. I'll give you an example. Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Yep, let me show you. Genesis 2, verse 24. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Did you catch it? One flesh. And the Hebrew is basar achad, achad. And that word one is the same word used for Jehovah in Deuteronomy 6.4. But here's the problem, folks. Isn't Adam a flesh person with his own flesh body? Yes. Isn't his wife, Chava, Eve, her own flesh person with her own flesh body? Yes. So Adam is flesh with his own flesh body. Eve is flesh with her own flesh body. That's two. But it says when they come together in intimacy, they're one flesh. So obviously one flesh cannot mean they're one person or one flesh person or one physical body because it's two flesh persons, a male and a female, with two distinct flesh bodies coming together in unity. Okay, now let me give you another one. Genesis 5 verse 2. Genesis 5 verse 2. King James captures it perfectly. Male and female created he them. Male and female created he them. Guys, pay attention. Male and female created he them. Blessed them, plural, called their name Adam. And the day when they were created. Oh, whoa, you didn't catch it. The Hebrew says Adam. That's why the King James captures it perfectly. One more time. One more time. Genesis 5 verse 2. Okay. Male and female, there goes the male, Adam, female, Eve. He created them, them, not him, blessed them, called their name Adam in the day when they were created. So wait, both the male and the female are one flesh. Both the male and the female are Adam. So the one Adam is male and female, and they're one flesh, but they're not one person. They're not one physical being. So why would we assume that God, who's infinitely more complex than his creatures, can be one God without being one person? Wow. No, he can't make himself whatever he wants because God is who he is eternally, unchangeably, immutably. God is who he is unchangeably, immutably. He is who he is and will be that way forever. When you're talking about the essence of God. You with me there? So folks, do you see Adam is male and female? Two physical flesh bodies, two flesh persons that are one flesh. And yet 
They want us to believe that the one God can only be limited to one person. Why? Why is that? Why does God have to be one person? So God is one. Amen. He's one. One what? One person, one essence, one attribute, one characteristic. Is he? What is he? That doesn't tell me anything. Amazing teaching, Sam. I've never thought about this until you taught it. Thanks for that. For more clips like this, go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. Um, as well, we have the merch store and the full video in the link below in the description box. Go on over there. Get some shirts or um, we've got some sweaters, hoodies, um, all related to Sam's ministry. Go ahead and go cop you some. All proceeds go to Sam's ministry. Go support. And as always, all praises to the one true triune God. Amen.